our world is divided. Politics, economics, national identity, and religion are just a few reasons. Sadly, these divisions extend even into the church. This is one reason why Thomas and Amy Cogdale wrote Unity Through Repentance. Thomas, tell us, what's the problem that this book tries to solve? The problem I'm trying to address with this book is that we don't take unity nearly as seriously as God does. If we ask uh, most pastors, most missions, leaders, what priority on your list is uh, the unity of the church, it would probably not even be on the list, or if it would be, it'd be way, way down there. But it was high enough on Jesus's priority list that when he prayed for us, his people, that was the one thing he prayed for. He could have prayed for anything. He could have prayed for missions, success. He could have prayed for purity in the church. He could have prayed for doctrinal correctness. He could have prayed for care for the poor. All these are good things. All these are things that Jesus cared about and taught. But when he prayed for us, he prayed for our unity. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is once we do take it seriously, there's not a good understanding that repentance is the key to unity. So, so many other things are addressed, doctrinal differences, or let's get together and uh, serve the poor together. These are all good things, once again, but the path to unity lies through repentance because we haven't done what Jesus has asked us to do. We've wounded and hurt each other. We've caused uh, embarrassment for the gospel through our divisions. And so we need to repent. So that's why I wrote the book, to highlight unity and to highlight the importance of repentance. Thus the title, Unity Through Repentance. Repentance.